interesting day out here today. You're not going to believe what I found. You know, one of the beautiful things about living here on uh, the Door Peninsula is this Niagara escarpment that, that it's made of. So on top is a, a cap of, of dolus stone, really hard, really uh, impervious to water. And uh, underneath it is limestone. What happens is the water eventually gets in through cracks and fissures in the in the uh, dolomite or dolostone it gets down to that layer of limestone and it just starts spreading out all over the place and it went and gets to an edge to a bluff it leaks out and what happens in the winter is those leaks begin to freeze and you get these beautiful cascading walls of ice coming out of the rock and it turns kind of this bluish color the blue actually is uh, its a bit of an optical illusion. The, the ice isn't really blue. It's just that the blue light in, in the visible light scale, it goes from blues to reds. And the reds are the longest light waves and the blues are the shortest light waves. Well, this ice is so dense and uh, the water is so clear that what happens is the long light waves get absorbed into the ice. They can travel a great distance into the ice. The short light waves, the blue light waves bounce off. They reflect off. So that's what you're seeing is the blue light waves coming off this really, really dense, clear ice. And the conditions have to be just right for this blue ice to appear. Very little movement in the water. The waters also have to be um, rather deep, like, we're going to look out onto the lake here and see some blue ice here in a bit uh, and photograph that as well. Uh, and it's, I wouldn't say it's rare, a rare occurrence, but it's rare to find it in such quantities as this. And it's usually in the northern parts of the Great Lakes where you find the blue ice. You don't find it every year. We happen to be lucky this year. All right. Whoa, whoa, look at this.
not worried about breaking through here, although it's it wouldn't happen. But what I am worried about is uh, crossing that to get out to that ice field where the ice shelf is because uh, there's open water there. Too dangerous to go any further. You know the wind and the sage of the waves just moves this ice around. This has all got water on top of it now. It's all slush. That means <laughs> it's not safe. And even though we're only about uh, 50, 60 feet from shore, it's right about here where uh, it drops off to 125 feet. So that's definitely 125 feet out there. I don't want to fall into that. Yeah, I took some footage of this area in the summer. I'll put that up now so you can see into the water. You can see where that shelf drops off. Take a look at that. You know, I'd love to get out there and uh, photograph some of that big slabs, those big slabs of blue ice. They gotta be 24, 30 inches thick. I'm not gonna risk it because between here and there, there's slush on top of the water, which means the water is undermining all of that and getting up underneath here, soaking up through the ice. Very, very, very dangerous. So, you know, with a northwest wind coming in, just as light as it is, I think it's only about a 9 or 10, 11 mile an hour wind, it pushes that, it pushes that ice. Super slow motion. I can hear it. I can hear it sliding. And I can uh, hear the ice crackling underneath my feet here. That just emanates in all directions. So, yeah, open water right there. I mean, just... 100 feet away so too dangerous even though it's below freezing you know these ice shelves they they change every day so i'll just have to come back tomorrow or the following day and uh i hope to get some some nice photos of that it really is beautiful and it's astounding how blue it is beautiful aquamarine blue and uh, yeah, I guess that's it from the northern door from Port de Moor, death's door for today. And uh, I will put pictures up that I took following this <laughs> excursion here today. So I'll have to wait until the weather's right to come back. But I hope you enjoy the photos. And until next time, take care of yourselves. And I'll see you down the road. Thanks for watching, everyone.